Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Nordic Skiing and Running Club. Today we're diving into the world of endurance training and exploring the unique methods that have made Jakob Ingbertsen one of the world's leading long distance runners. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. So let's get started. Jakob Ingbertsen hails from Norway and is a part of a running dynasty. One of the most exciting elements of Jakob's training is the Norwegian model, which has started to change the game of endurance training globally. But what exactly is the Norwegian model? It's based on two main components, a high volume of low intensity training, complemented by lactate guided threshold interval training. Picture it like this. Imagine you have a cake that's made mostly from a simple base ingredient. That's your low intensity training. It's the foundation making up most of the cake, or in Jakob's case, most of his running regimen. Now, imagine adding in some flavor. These add interest and depth, just like the lactate guided threshold training adds intensity and pushes the boundaries in Jakob's routine. The high volume, low intensity part is not new to the world of endurance sports. In practice, it means Jakob does a lot of easy running. For example, Jakob typically does 10k easy runs, keeping a pace of around 3 minutes 45 to 50 seconds per kilometer. This might sound fast to some of us, but remember, we're talking about one of the world's best runners. For him, this is a comfortable, almost leisurely pace. Stay tuned until the end of this video to discover what a typical training week looks like for Jakob. The other part of the Norwegian model is what they call a lactate guided threshold interval training. What a mouthful, right? But don't worry, it's simpler than it sounds. Basically, Jakob does particular workouts where he's running and regularly checking his lactate levels. Imagine running around a track and having to frequently stop and check your blood levels to ensure you're pushing yourself just hard enough, but not too hard. That's essentially what Jakob does in these sessions. He's in full control. He'll often use a treadmill for these workouts, which makes it easier to control his pace and reduce variables like terrain. And they're not just continuous runs, they're broken into intervals, with rests in between to avoid pushing himself too hard and needing extensive recovery time. So he might run for a set period or distance, then take a short break and repeat. Now, we all know that variety is the spice of life, and that's no different for Jakob's training regimen. Every week, he tackles hill training. This involves running 20 200 meter hill repeats, with the rest period being a leisurely jog back down the hill. This is often the most challenging workout of the week, pushing his lactate levels even higher. This has soon become a trendy workout among runners at all levels. If it works for Jakob, it should work for you and me, right? So what does a regular training week look like for Jakob? Here's an example. Monday. Morning, 10k easy run, followed by strength training, core exercises, and lift weights. Evening, 10k easy run. Tuesday. Morning, interval training. 6 1k race at pace with 2 minutes rest in between. Evening, 6k easy recovery run. Wednesday, morning, 10k moderate pace run. Evening, 5k easy run plus stretching session. Thursday, morning, hill sprint interval. Evening, 6k easy recovery run. Friday, morning, 8k tempo run at slightly below race pace. Evening, 5k easy run plus stretching session. Saturday, morning, long run. 18 to 20k at a steady pace. Evening, rest or light stretching. Sunday, active recovery. 8k, very easy pace. Evening, rest. Copy this program at your own risk. There you have it, folks. That's an insight into the unique training methods of Jakob Ingbritsen, the man who has taken the running world by storm with his dedication, perseverance, and innovative approach to training. What's your opinion on Jakob's progress as a runner? Has he begun his pursuit of breaking records? 
Do you believe he can achieve them all this season? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on the running world. See you next time!